All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am here today to show you guys how to download and install the new and improved Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 revamp compatible with DLC 13 slash Legendary Pack 2. Yes, it is officially released. Uh, as always, big, massive shout-outs to the entire Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 revamp team. Now, if you guys don't know what revamp is, this is a mod, okay? I mean, the only reason why you would be searching this tutorial up is because you are aware of how mods work and function. So, we're gonna go ahead and get into uh, not only how to install this and get it working, which is a very easy process, by the way. Uh, it doesn't need to be like this full, ridiculous tutorial. I'm just gonna kind of break down exactly what you need to do for those that uh, like something simple and visual to see. I will also be showing you guys how to fix some of the potential issues that might arise from uh, having mods installed and trying to uh, you know, get it working for the first time because uh, I know as somebody who's been modding for, you know, five, six plus years now, uh, issues happen very frequently, so I definitely understand. Um, the first thing that I want to go over, which is actually really important, this is from uh, my Xenoverse 2 How to Mod tutorial that I uploaded about a week ago. Make sure to watch this video first before you install Revamp because you need to know how to have the basic uh, you know, modding foundation in order to, you know, get revamp working, if that makes any sense to you guys. So, uh, make sure you watch this first, and then come back, uh, to this video and, you know, watch how to install the revamp, because that's a majority of the reason why people want to get into mods, is to have the revamp mod installed. So, I want to say a big mass shout-outs to the Dark, uh, Hot Topic 21. Uh, he actually found a fix for this issue that I saw, like, every other comment. Like, I'm still getting comments on this same issue. So, he says, for everyone uh, that is having the stage override clip error, okay? It's a little notification that'll pop up whenever you're trying to, I believe, open up the XV2 installer or uh, open up the actual game itself from in the bin folder. He says, you need to delete the new stage file from ePatcher folder or open ePatcher file, change it, Change the new stage to true from true to false, okay? So, let me just tell you this, okay? Let me just tell you this. You should not have this issue at all if you are on update version 1.17.1. I'm going to repeat myself, okay? Listen, I want you shut off everything. Listen to me. Version 1.17.1. That is the latest version of the game, and that is what everything should be compatible with. As you saw in this tutorial that I uploaded, I did everything on the fly. I didn't, you know, change anything. I was on already the most updated version. I had all the updated tools from Eternity, okay? Which obviously will be linked in this video where you can download it. I had no issue with the new stage thing, okay? This thing, this is probably because you're still on either 1.16 or you're on just 1.17.0. So you might still be on 1.17, but you gotta have that, you know, extra update that they had I believe, uh, late November, early December, okay, to get to 1.17.1. So make sure you're on the latest update. Again, if you're having this Codex version, this free pirated version, I cannot help you because I don't know how any of that works, okay? I'm just putting that out there for those of you that are still, like, confused and all that stuff. I apologize, but that's not... I'm not here to support piracy, okay? We're here to, you know, play the actual game that you purchased yourself within Steam, okay? So if you're having this issue, the stage override clip thing, okay... I mean, if you want to, you can try this, which basically what it would mean is that you go into your Xenoverse 2 folder, okay? And in the XV2 patcher folder that you obviously copy and pasted and, and put in there, okay, you go into E patches, and then you go over here, and this thing that's titled New Stages, okay? You would just, I guess, delete that. So, uh, I, I, I'm just telling you, I'd advise you not to uh, mess with any of the files in here. Just update to 1.17.1. But if you're having that issue, go ahead and try out the delete the new stages thing, okay? So, you just right-click and then delete. But I'm not going to do that because my game works just fine because I'm on 1.17.1, okay? So, that's what you need to do. All right, that is the main thing that you need to do here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into um, the actual revamp mod itself, all right? So, I'll link this down below. Xenoverse 2 revamp. This is compatible with... Uh, the update 1.17.1 so you just click on download okay it's going to bring you to this page over here now there are two different links i uh, would recommend and advise you to go to the alternative download link download complete edition go ahead and do that one because the first link for whatever reason and this happened last time too uh it takes you to a google drive link and then it says oh the limit has been reached for the amount of downloads which i think is just really stupid i don't know why so fuck that <laughs> just go to the second download link 
because uh, this one always works, the Mega File Upload. So uh, it's going to be Xenoverse 2 Revamp, Complete Edition, LP2 compatible. You'll be good to go there. So just download it, okay? And make sure, obviously, you have WinRAR, because if you don't have WinRAR, you can actually do this. So I'm going to go and enlarge this. I'm going to go and right-click and extract. So this might take a little bit of time, so I'm just going to, you know, let it kind of, you know, extract and everything. Now, all right, this is some really important stuff that you need to get into. All right, so it's a little bit alarming, I guess, because there are a couple of different folders and things. Uh, you know, credits, make sure you check that out because, you know, those are all the people that contributed. But um, there are installation instructions. So really, like I said, this tutorial video is not really much of a tutorial. It's just like, oh, hey, revamp has been updated, okay? That's just kind of more of like an update and alert on it, okay? So this takes a very long time to install, but what I need you guys to do first, okay, this is very important, is you need to open up your XV2 INS, uh, you know, application, okay? So if you have mods installed, as you can see, I have a lot of mods installed right now, okay? You got to remove all those, okay? So this is just to minimize any potential issues. So you go up here in the corner and you go to tools and then you just go to clear installation, okay? So basically it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to clean out all the mods that you installed, okay? And then you're good. You got a fresh installation on it, okay? So if you go into your Xenoverse 2 folder and you go into the data folder, you should only see usually the UI Iggy pop-up underscore pause because that's what you initially copied whenever you first started modding for the first time. So that's good. That's what you want to see, okay? Now, again, most issues can be fixed as long as you're on 1.17.1, the latest update, and... If after you uninstall all mods, you right-click on Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, you go to Properties, and then you go to the Local Files, and then you click on Verify Integrity of Game Files, okay? All right, click on that. But you have to be online, okay? As you can see, it says Go Offline here. That means you're online. So you have to be online before you do this. After you're done verifying Game Cache Integrity within Steam, okay, after you're done with this, then go back offline, okay? That's always a huge, major recommendation is to go offline, so that you don't have any issues, all right? Now, let's get into the actual installation, okay? I know this is a lot to take in, but I'm just trying to get, you know, all the potential fixes uh, for any issues, okay? So let's go back into the revamp folder. Okay, so the installation instructions, it's the same as before. You do the add-ons X2M, okay, and XV2 INS first, and then you run the revamp installer, okay? Now, this is an LB installer, so usually when it comes to lazy LB, aka means lazy bones, uh, most of lazy bones mods right now are still incompatible. I haven't really checked too much recently, but I'm still thinking that they are incompatible. So if you're having an infinite load glitch or anything like that, you got to clear your mods and not have, uh, you know, lazy bone mods installed. I know that's a very popular mod that people want. But right now, it's, it's not updated. It's going to cause issues, okay? And that's the same thing with revamp, okay? If you got that weird rainbow character select screen and your character select screen, screen was all buggy, that was because you're on the old revamp, okay? So, obviously, again, get your updated version of revamp, and it'll fix that weird rainbow character select thing, all right? So, let's go back in here. Okay, so this is the X2M file, the addons.x2m, okay? So, you open up your XV2 INS, all right? And then you're going to go to the installation, Okay, you're going to go to wherever you downloaded revamp. Then you go to the X2M file, X2M add-ons. Okay, let's go ahead and install that. Uh, as you can see, there are a shit ton of mods that get installed. So this is going to take a while. So you just want to say yes to all this. And it's just going to take its time. So I'll come back whenever everything's installed. All right, guys. As you can see, mods successfully installed. Excellent. Okay, so it's just going to say Xenoverse 2 revamp add-ons. Okay. Shout out to the revamp team. They made it very easy for you. You don't have to install every single mod separately. You just have to install one X2M that installs all of them at the same time. They are actually goaded for that. Okay, so once you have done that, you can go to the installer. And then you go to revamp Xenoverse 2 installer. This is the .exe installer, okay? Now, this isn't an X2M file. This is an actual .exe installer, okay? Like, I just, I'm going to keep saying that because people are like, what is this? I, it's, not, it's not showing up in my XV2 INS because this doesn't open in XV2 INS, okay? This is separate. All you have to do is double-click files like these. This usually is, you know, the same situation when if you're doing auras and other stuff, okay? And like I said, this is an LB installer, okay? So it says, welcome to Xenoverse 2 Revamp. Now, the game directory, if you don't see this, like, if you don't have what I have here, just you know, look at what I'm highlighting and you can see what it is, okay? You go into your PC, Program Files, x86, go into Steam, then go into Steam Apps, then go into Common, and then go into 
db xenoverse 2 that is your steam directory and this is where all your mods for every type of installer that you're trying to do if you're trying to install any mods this is exactly where you need to go all right i might have to copy and paste this in the description if people really need it but i've seen some people have issues with this okay let's go to next all right so now you choose your language now this this is a really really important update that they had during uh the christmas update so this allows you to choose your language okay before it installed every language that's why it took a lot longer okay so for me i'm gonna do english again you do your you know whatever um if you want to do a custom installation you can choose separate components that you want and don't want i advise you just to do express because express installs everything and usually doesn't have any issues okay so then go to next so from here you can choose uh what type of uh you know daytime nighttime you want for Canton city uh i i say that the nighttime looks really really cool and it's brand new so i'm gonna go with night so this is all you have to do you just click next and then now it's gonna take a very very this takes five to ten minutes or longer depending on how fast your pc is so i'll get back to you once all this has been installed okay give it time give it time and wait for it to say it fully installed oh my god that took a very long time all right it's worth it it's worth the wait believe me okay i'm just gonna say it right now i promise you this is worth the wait so the mod was successfully installed if you see this little notification you're good to go all right so go ahead and click okay we're done congratulations you got xenoverse 2 revamp installed all right so again i recommend that you go offline in order to start the game and everything just because potential issues can happen uh i'm i'm just gonna stay online for the sake of this because i'm not i'm not actually going online in the game but um again do not open do not open the game up in t in uh, steam okay do not click the little play button all right so do not go here don't click play don't no 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 okay that's a big no no all right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your xenoverse 2 directory you're gonna go into bin and then you're gonna click on db xv2 install no i was gonna say installer uh, application yeah click on this all right double click on it let's see if it opens any issues are gonna arise let's see all right so again i don't know what it is about my pc it has this weird issue where it's like oh failed to initialize steam um, I think this is very rare for people. This usually happens because after I start up Steam, I usually have to reset my entire PC again. So let me just reset it. It'll work after that. But um, if you do get this issue, usually a, uh, a clean reset of your device that you're using uh, usually fixes this issue. But um, you guys saw my last tutorial. This happened. All right, guys, we're back. Let's go ahead and try this out. We are on round two. All right, let's open this up. Let's see if it works. Come on. All right. Oh, 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 oh. We're doing good. We're doing good. So far, it's opening up. I gotta make sure that I see all the uh, new like UI and everything. Okay, this is loading up good, excellent, and yep, there it is. All right, we're we're really good right now. There you have it. We got it. We got it working perfectly. No issues at all. As you can see, we're on update. You see on the bottom right hand corner, 1.17.01. Okay, Patcher 3.7. Boom. That's all you need to see. As long as you see that, you shouldn't have any issues. You installed revamp. It's working. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go into the character select screen. I want to make sure I show that to make sure and ensure that it does not have a rainbowy, weird, glitchy texture and everything. Because that's what happened on the previous version. That's what a lot of people were complaining about. Uh, I did tell you guys not to install revamp. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of on you if, you if you did that. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. People sometimes don't listen. All right. So, as you can see, all the revamp updates go through. Boom. All right. So, I'm just going to go ahead and fly on over to photo mode. I'm going to talk with my, my man here. All right. Let's go and get into this. just want to make sure that the character select screen loads up properly. Let's Hey. All right. We're good. That's it. We're good to go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. That's, that's exactly what it's all about. Woo, baby! <laughs> Savagin21, as you can see, all the characters are loading up properly. The characters actually weren't even an issue. You could still install the characters. It was mainly the installer itself that was kind of glitchy. But as you can see, I am on the new update, and it has the new revamped versions of the dlc characters as you can see they are a lot cleaner jiren is less dipped in oil he's a lot smoother looking as you can see topo is darker uh we have gogeta looking extremely smooth cauliflower got her new revamp update and so did kale they have just better more improved colors and everything too and as you can see we do have all of these characters also uh with the addition of all the revamp stuff so there you have it hopefully you guys uh you know had 
a, a good running with this video. Have, hopefully everything went well. If you have any issues, uh, you can always comment down below. I'll try my best to respond to them. Can't respond to all of them, but I will try my best. So uh, best of luck, have fun, and again, massive shout out to Revamp Team for getting this working for us. Much love to them, as always. All right, like, subscribe, ring my notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet! <laughs>